Hey there YouTube friends, it's Carrie with Any Day Blessings and today we are going to do our first video in a series called Do a Lesson With Us. So today we are going to do a lesson out of Singapore Math 3A. My little guy is in the background right now correcting his mental math. Those are exercises found in the back of the instructor's guide that you can photocopy. It's a great way to get fact practice in but kind of at the level where they're at. So um, he is uh, just correcting a couple that he missed on that, and then we are going to start with the lesson. So I'm going to put this on pause until he's done correcting that, and then we'll, we'll uh, hop back in when we're ready to start our lesson. Okay, here we go. All right, ready for the first thing you need to do is go down and get four Hot Wheel cars and a Nerf gun. Go. So this will actually be the game or activity I do um, using objects that he has. I'm going to do one of the example problems in the teacher guide. My daughter wanted me to let you know that she is playing with Legos over in the living room here because she wanted to be part of the video too. So that's where she's at and we will do her uh, Memoria Press Kindergarten crafts after this lesson. So maybe we'll show you that in a different video. Okay, got your car, from your nerf gun? Okay, which ones did you pick? Wait, this is loaded. Oh, well, don't shoot it at mom, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so what ones did you pick? Oh. Should the bullets out? No, don't put the bullets out. Honey, I don't want them all over the counter. Just leave, it's fine if they're in. We're not going to be shooting it or anything. We're just using it for math. Okay. Yeah, it probably won't look. I'm going to have to pull this down. Okay, so we worked on yesterday one step story problems, right? But today we're gonna to do two step story problems. The two step, okay. Yes, okay. So you're still gonna to have to go through what are they asking you? What information is given? Do I need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? And then number four, the all important step, does your answer make sense? Make sense. Okay, so we can use the whiteboard for this. And then we're gonna do one out of the book, and then you're gonna practice some on this paper. But look, you just have one paper today. Just one paper. That's exciting. Alright, so you are gonna buy this stuff at the store. You've got four Hot Wheel cars. They each cost five dollars. No, five dollars. Wow, that's expensive for one each Hot Wheel car. car. I know that's not what it would really cost at the store, but these are like special Hot Wheel cars. Five dollars for each car, and your Nerf gun. Your Nerf gun costs twelve dollars for the Nerf gun. Okay. That's cheap, actually. Yeah, that's cheap. So these are more expensive than we thought, and this is cheaper. So it all equals up. All right, so each car costs $5. Your airplane, or your airplane, your Nerf gun costs $12. I wanna know, first of all, how much did you spend? That's the first part of our two-star prep. How much did you spend? And then the second part is I wanna know, how much more did you spend on cars than you spent on your Nerf gun? Well, so, so this is a multiplication problem, the first one of these. Okay, the first one is a multiplication problem. So I'm gonna put your multiplication sign there. What is your first step problem gonna be? Just so I'm gonna do four times five. Is that equal? What does that equal? Five times twenty. Now this isn't just twenty, what is this? What are we dealing with? Five for each car. Oh, what are we dealing with? Dollars. That's right. Twenty dollars. So that's what you. What does that twenty dollars represent? It represents how many, how much money I had to pay for the Hot Wheels. How much money you had to pay for the Hot Wheels? And what's the first question? How much did you spend? How much did I spend? Okay. So you spent twenty dollars on the Hot Wheels, but is that the answer? No. No. What else do you have to do? Um. I have to. I have to subtract that nerf. Oh, I have to add. You have to add. Okay. Add so. the Hot Wheel on twenty dollars to twelve dollars. That's right. And that will tell so you how much you spent. Twenty bucks plus twelve bucks. What's it equal? It equals thirty-two. Two. Oh, bucks. Bucks. 
$32. So, have you answered one of your questions yet? Your first question was, how much did you spend? Have you answered that question yet? Um, yes. Yes. What is the answer to that question? $32. 32 bucks. That's the answer to the first question. So you still have another question. How, how, how much, much more, more for the, for the cars. cars did you spend? How much more did you spend on the cars? So this is a subtraction problem. Now why is it a subtraction problem? Because you're looking for the difference. difference between two things. Very good. Okay. So what's your subtraction problem going to be? 20 bucks. 20 bucks minus, minus um, 12. 12. Okay. Eight bucks. Perfect. You did awesome with that two step problem. Now we're going to look at one more in the book and then I'm going to give you a paper, okay? Good. So let's look at this one and remember we're going to look at our friends because she gives us these little hints and these little bubbles, okay? So let's read the problem. She's, oh, she's on a farm. A farmer has seven ducks. He has five times as many chickens as ducks. So how many more chickens than ducks does he have? Those are the two set problems. First, we have to find out what? We know how many ducks we have, but we need to find out something else. What's the first step of the problem? We need to find out how many um, chickens there are. We need to find out how many chickens there are. See? First, find the number of chickens. That's, that's a little hint. So in the first step of the problem, she finds out the chickens. We know that he has five times as many chickens as ducks, so what does that sound like? Five times as many. That sounds like what kind of problem? Multiplication. Multiplication problem. So we need to, oh no, we don't need to use this. It's all here in the book, okay? So we have seven ducks times five equals how many chickens? 35. 35 chickens. But is that the answer to the question? What's the question asking? How many more chickens does, than ducks does he have? All right, so now we know how many chickens he has, but now we not need to do step have, two of the problem. We have to subtract seven. That's right. Which equals 28. That's right. right. So he has 28 more chickens than ducks. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine all those chickens? That's a lot of chickens. So are you ready, you think, to do this? You have four problems. There are going to be two steps, at least two steps in every problem. Actually, the example we did, that kind of had three, didn't it? It had three steps. Yeah. You think you can do these? Okay. Oh, use, sure. your, use your little sheet. To remind you of the steps, here's your, here, you want a different pencil with an eraser on it? Oh, mommy needs to, here, this one's good. Mommy will sharpen these while you work on your um, paper, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave this here in case you need to, to look at one. I'm gonna leave your example here in case you need to remember some of the things that we did, okay? And go ahead and call me over when you have this done and we'll, we'll look through it together, okay? So that's it. I will let him do his work and we will go through it and um, I can do some reteaching if he misses some that, um, it, you know, he needs me to go through with him. Are you peeking? Are you peeking back there? But that's it. I mean, I keep math really light. We kind of do it first thing in the day. It is about 11 o'clock, but um, it's Friday and we kind of have a slower start today, but um, typically it's the first or second subject that we do. So. You keep trying to peek around here. All right, so I will let him go do his work, but that's a math lesson for us. That's how we're using Singapore. And on Fridays, um, typically um, what we do is um, we don't have math typically. This is a weird week because we had field trips and stuff, but typically on Fridays what we do for math is just games. That's all we do for math is games. But every other week, every other day, Monday through Thursday, this is what a math lesson looks like in our home. So I hope this was helpful to you all. If you think Singapore is really intimidating and just out of your reach, I hope this makes it a little more approachable for you because it really is a solid, good math program and my son's math, mental math skills are just so amazing to watch. So I really hope that uh, this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments uh, things that you may think other people um, could benefit from and hearing about tips with Singapore or things like that. Uh, share what you do. Uh, if you have videos showing um, using Singapore in your home and you want to link those below, that's fine. I just ask that um, all the videos be respectful that you may link down below in the comments. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.